Okay, I think uh, let's start. <clears throat> Am I audible? Kevin? Okay. Yep. So welcome everyone. So Florida Drupal Camp. Today I'll be talking about building a CI CD pipeline for your Drupal applications using GitHub Actions. So GitHub Actions was introduced a couple of years ago which is a built-in workflow tool, automation tool in, in GitHub. So the please abide by the code of conduct. So there is a, a page in Florida camp uh, website. So if you go to FL Drupal camp slash community slash code conduct, you can read about the code of conduct for the Florida Drupal camp. In case you want to contact anyone, you can contact Amy June or Mike Anello for that. So about me, I'm Malavia. I have been working with Drupal for last nearly a decade now. I started with Drupal 6, then gradually moved to Drupal 7. Then for the last nearly five years, I've been working with Drupal 8 and now Drupal 9, I've done a couple of projects. I work for a company called SpecB as the Drupal practice head. I've been an open source advocate for a quite long time and active contributor and organizing camps and uh, code sprints in Bangalore Drupal. I have a keen interest with DevOps. I've developed this in the last couple of years with DevOps and automation, which resulted for this for this uh, presentation for me to now today. You can find me on Twitter as Malavi88 and on Drupal I am I Malavi. So what are the agenda for today are I'm going to briefly discuss about what are GitHub Actions, what are the developer workflow or the use cases where GitHub Actions will, will fit in, <clears throat> what are the basic concepts that are that is GitHub events and jobs and what are workflows and what are actions and how you can use it to build a CI CD pipeline and what are the syntax and lastly we'll have a brief demo of how you can use GitHub Actions from when, when, when some event is triggered. So what is GitHub Actions? It's basically a platform to uh, platform to automate the developer workflows. I've seen a lot of tutorials. I've seen a lot of uh, videos that says that GitHub Actions is a CI CD tool, but that's not entirely true. Basically CI CD is just a part of GitHub Actions of, or one of the many workflows that uh, GitHub Actions supports. So what are what are these different workflows that that GitHub Actions supports? So let's let's take a classic example of how any uh, project works on. So you have a main branch or the master branch where the production sites run on. So from the master branch, you create a feature branch and you start working on it. And there will be a couple of commits like where where you like commit your code or commit your work. Once it is ready for review, you open up a PR or create a pull request requesting for your changes to merge back to the master branch. Based on the reviews and based on the discussions, there may be more commits uh, on, on, on the feature branch. And once everything like looks fine, it, the code gets or the branch gets committed to the master branch. Now, the CI CD can be implemented like a lot of, a lot of places, like when, when there's a new commit on the feature branch or when there's a PR being raised, the classic CI/CD is like you you build the you build the applications for for Drupal. You you build the application, you lint the code, you run some PHP tests or PHP unit tests. But what if there you need some other actions? For example, when there is a PR raised, and based on the label of the PR, you need to do certain actions. Or based on the let, let's say I you you raise the PR and you add a add a security uh, label to it, and based on that security label, you need a certain uh, reviewer to review that particular patch or review that particular PR. So that's that. That's where uh, GitHub Action comes in. Or when there is an issue comment uh, posted on the PR, GitHub Actions will trigger a, an action where which which will do certain actions, which, which will do certain, certain, certain thing. So GitHub Actions is entirely uh, event-driven. So GitHub Actions 
and right event driven that is you can run a series of commands called actions or jobs after a particular event that that has occurred so what are those events so those can be like on push on pull request on create of a new branch or delete a new branch uh, delete an existing branch or when there is a fork to a fork to, a, to your repository you want to notify the owners of the github repository or the other repository owner that there is a new fork uh, by certain user or when there is an issue comment, uh, when an issue is created on GitHub, and based on certain label, you want to do so, you want to want to run certain automation tests on on that on that on your code. So these things can be uh, done via GitHub Actions, and these are called events in uh, GitHub, in or in the, in the GitHub Actions ecospace. So for example, on code push, whenever there is a push in Drupal applications, what we generally do is. We'll run the composer install to build the, the Drupal application. We'll run npm install or yarn install to set up our front end uh, assets. We'll run PHP CS to sniff our code to for for, uh, for abiding to the uh, coding standards of Drupal. Or we can run like PHP unit or behead tests based on your uh, on on your uh, application. Now this whole package. Like this is an event and these are individuals are called actions. So this whole comprises of a single workflow in GitHub Actions. So the most common workflow for, for any project uh, is like you'll commit your code that will build your application. You lint your files or you lint your applications with PHP CS or uh, your JS lint or CSS lint. You'll test the applications with, with PHP unit or PHAT. And once everything is fine, you'll deploy your code. So that's that's the general CI CD pipeline with, uh, with, 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 with what, what happens. But there are a lot of other CI CD tools or CI CD applications which are available, like Circle CI, Travis, uh, even Git, Git, GitLab has its own uh, CI CD tool. But there are certain uh, advantages of GitHub Actions which I personally believe is that GitHub, if your code is uh, hosted on GitHub, you don't need to set up any third party application to set up the CI CD. So if your code is hosted on GitHub, you don't have to like set up a Circle CI or a Travis to integrate with your uh, code to run your CI CD pipelines. It's very easy to set up. It's just a bunch of YML files or based on your, it can be a single YML file. And it's quite developer friendly and the tools which are there are for developers. So when I say it is uh, pretty easy to set up, it is that integration with other technologies are pretty, pretty important are very important when, when you uh, work with, a, with, with, a, with an application. So as a developer on any Drupal application, you'll need PHP, you'll need Composer, you'll need NPM, you'll need Gulp, you'll need for Behead, you'll need uh, Selenium or Chrome browser. So instead of setting or like installing your these applications on the CI/CD environment each and every time there is a build running, you can tell that like you don't have to install all this. You can just say that give me an environment where there is PHP and Composer installed, where there is Node and NPM and Gulp installs with the versions I specify, and I'll build my application in, in, in that environment or in those environments. And for deployment, I'll simply connect to the target and deploy my code. So this is quite easy to set up in, in uh, GitHub Actions. So this is a, a, a sample PHP or a sample YML file for GitHub Action. So it's, it's in the name is the PHP composer and on push. So these are the events. These are jobs which are running. These are the steps. These are the actions. So this single file will reside in a specific folder called .github slash workflows and your file name. So whether it's a php.yml or ci.yml, whatever you want to name it. <clears throat> so when GitHub Actions gets an event, it will trigger a job that will run the specific steps which will have certain actions inside it. So in this case, it will on, on the event of push to the master branch or when there is a pull request raised against the master branch, it will run the steps to validate the composer JSON and the composer log file. And it will run the composer validate 
uh, command which will validate the composer log files. And if things are fine, if if things are like green, it will uh, the build will be uh, passed. So any questions till now? I think it's it's quite fast. I've gone. Any questions? Okay. So uh, I'll qu quickly go through a demo of how we can deploy a Drupal site, which is using Composer and which is using Node, and it will finally deploy it to the to a DigitalOcean droplet. The code will be it's residing on it's it's my personal website that uh, that I have. The code is on GitHub. It's uh, github.com slash Malave slash imalave, and the site is on imalave.co. So this is the repository which I have. So this is a, it's it's a normal uh, scaffolding uh, of a Drupal application on a Drupal website <clears throat> using the Drupal uh, core recommended uh, composer template. So this is where your GitHub Actions uh, workflows will will reside. The GitHub dot GitHub folder slash workflows. Inside that I have two YML files. One is for CI and one is for deployment. So if I go inside the CI file. First is the name of the file that, uh, or, or the workflow that you want to do, that it's a, it's a build and lint the project. The event is on push. So whenever there is a push to any branch, so if I don't specify any branch, it will trigger this event or this workflow will be triggered on, uh, on push to any branch, which I, which I uh, use. <clears throat> so the jobs that will be done will be build it. It will run on, Ubuntu latest. So GitHub Action allows you to, to uh, run your application or build your test applications on different platforms, whether you want to use Ubuntu or whether you want to use uh, Mac OS or Windows. And what are the steps that I need? First, I need to check out my code and it uses something called actions uh, like in, in GitHub Marketplace. So if you go to GitHub Marketplace, you can get a lot of different actions which are which are there already there it's kind of modules which are there uh, for drupal it's actions for github actions so github actions is uh, like actions checkout uh, version 2 will have some basic uh, installations like php or uh, node on all the stuff but for my application i needed something specific so i'll set up my php using a separate action called Chef Mathur uh, set of PHP version two that will allow me to choose the PHP version which for which I want to run my application against. So I want to I want to run my application against PHP version seven point two and Composer version <coughs> two. So once my environment is set up, I'll run my Composer validate command that will like validate the validate my Composer JSON and log files, and I'll install my Composer uh, Composer dependencies. Now, once my Composer uh, PHP uh, stuff is done, I want to build my front-end dependencies for which I will use another action called setup node with v1 and with the node version of 14. So this node version or, uh, or PHP versions are arbitrary. You can choose what which version you want to, you want to like uh, test your applications. For example, if you have an application which you which you want to like run or you or you test again multiple versions of PHP or, you, or multiple versions of Node, you can have multiple files which will have the PHP versions different in in each of the files or each of your workflows. So once this is set up, I'll install my uh, front end dependencies. So once all this is done, like finally I'll lint my code or or I'll run PHP CS for for, for my code. So apart from actions, which are available on the marketplace, we can use Docker images as well to uh, create an environment. So for this, like you need to specify that this is the Docker environment and what is the namespace of the container and the container with the tag. So you can specify the latest tag or if you want to like specify some of certain like specific tag, you can specify to it. And what is the command that, or the argument you want to pass to the Docker image that you want to uh, that you want the, the application to lend. So for example, like in this case, 
I'm using Hussain Web uh, Drupal QA with the tag PHP 4. And if I pass an argument with PHP CS and the standards of uh, Drupal and Drupal practice, it will run the linting or it will run the PHP CS against my code in this particular environment. So that's all about uh, the CI part. For deployment, <clears throat> on the previous workflow, if you have noticed, this is the event where on push, this event will be triggered or this workflow will be triggered. But for this one, I need this event or I need this workflow to be triggered only when my workflow called build and live project is completed. I don't want this, this uh, workflow to be triggered on every push or whenever there is a PR raise or whenever there is a merge to my uh, master branch. I want only when my CI or the or my building and linting of projects is completed and it's it's successful, then only, only I want to deploy my uh, application to the uh, server. However, like this will just notify, or this will just like start building when the build and lint workflow is completed, but it will not check whether the linting process or the build process has failed or, or it's, it's a successful. So for that, I'll add a if condition that if my GitHub workflow run conclusion is a success, then only follow this one or then only like deploy the application. So for example, if my linting process fails, if there is there are some PHP CS errors on my on my application, this deployment, the, the deploy file won't be triggered. So until unless it gets a success message from my previous uh, deployment file or from the workflow that I've specified here, this event or this workflow will not be triggered. So again, like it, it will run on Ubuntu latest. And then steps are like uh, to deploy to a droplet using SH keys or using SH. So for this, I'm using an action called Apple Boy SH actions, which takes certain parameters into a for, for, for that. So what are the hosts for it? And these hosts or these secret, secret keys can be managed in your uh, settings of your secrets. So you can manage all the all the secret keys of your uh, what's the doc code, what's the host, what's the private key for your for deployment. So for for security concerns, you you don't want to like uh, put your like secret keys and your host and username in your code base. You you want to have uh, have it as an environment variable or as a secret key. So you can add it. You can go to your like project settings and under that you have <clears throat> a secrets tab where you can add these uh, secret keys. And the, you can use these secret keys on the YML files for GitHub Action workflows. So here you will specify what is the host, what's the username, what's the key to it, and what are what are the scripts or what are, what what do you want to do when uh, when the SH key, when, uh, when the SH is is successful. So for for me, I just like I'll run a script that yeah go to the doc root, do a git pull from from the git repository, and I use a robo file to uh, run a Drupal update job. So that basically like it'll do, a, it will just, after taking the poll, it will clear the cache, it will run the database updates. <clears throat> it will import the configurations, the pending configurations. And yep, then once that is done, it will uh, return back. So, yep. And this is what actions look like. So for demo purposes, I have a small change in my readme dot readme file that I've updated my like website URL and the some this one. So when I do a git status and I make a comment that updated. Push. So once that is pushed, yep. So GitHub Actions will trigger that, uh, trigger the updated README uh, commit, and it will start building your uh, the. Uh, it will run the CI.yml file or the CI.yml workflow <clears throat> in your uh, GitHub Actions. 
So if you go inside the build, which is happening, it will first set up the job. So when you set up the job, that is like, it will quickly checks out or it will quickly uh, get all the, all the actions which are specified in your uh, GitHub actions file. If you have any Docker image, which, which is there like in my, in my case, so that will pull your, uh, pull down the image every time there is a, there is a uh, push. So there, there are, okay, okay stop. Yep. Yeah, so it, it will pull down the uh, uh, Docker image every time there is a push. There are ways to cache this uh, Docker image. There is, there, is a, there is a way to cache this Docker image. Then my workflow will, will kick in. So if I want to view my workflow file, so these are my steps which, uh, which will run. So first it will run the actions or check out my code. So that's that will happen here. That will check out my code or get the latest code. Then it'll set up the PHP environment and it will switch the PHP, uh, PHP versions and the composer versions. Then as per my, uh, as per my workflow, it will install the, so it, it will validate the composer and then it will <clears throat> install the composer dependencies. So it will validate my composer Composer, composer lock and composer.json file. It will install the composer, uh, composer dependencies. Once that is done, it will set up my node server or it will say set up my uh, node environment. It will install the front end dependencies, check out my code for, uh, for PHP CS and it will, the, the job will be completed. So once this is completed or once this gives a green signal that the build is completed, the deploy to uh, DigitalOcean droplet will kick in, which will like, it will build it and it will try to SSH into the server and it will run the command, which is specified that CD to the uh, doc root, do a git pull and run the robo command to update the, uh, my, my Drupal project. So that's, that's how you can, uh, integrate a CI CD a pipeline with, with uh, GitHub Actions for your Drupal applications. So, yep, any questions? How can I see the chat here? Okay. So what's the robo file that is like in the server side dash script? So robo file, uh, robo, it's a, it's a PHP uh, package. So that's just a single PHP file where you can prescribe or you can like give all the commands that you can run. So it's, it's a like uh, function in PHP. So for example, like this is the function which, which does the, the update job, like job triple update. And the naming convention for, uh, to run the robo files are, sorry, if I go to code, that robo job Drupal update. So it will be like <clears throat> my function name, function name should be job with D capital and up, uh, U capital. And inside that I'll, have a bunch of tasks to, to execute. Like I'll install the composer, I'll run the database updates, I'll run the configuration imports, build front end, and then clear the cache. So it's basically a task runner for, for PHP applications, which, uh, which, which, which is pretty simple to set up and uh, pretty, pretty simple to uh, use to, to integrate or to automate your, or your applications or your actions. Thank you.
Any other questions? I have another question, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, just besides testing and linting and maybe deploying, um, have you, what other, what other use cases have you used GitHub Actions to like help you automate or, 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 you know, help with Drupal projects, I guess is really things around Drupal, GitHub Actions that kind of specifically for Drupal projects. Mm -hmm. Like, have you, have you done anything else? Like, I think I tried to do a nightly GitHub action to run composer update and automatically create a pull request or something, but I don't think I got it working. I'm just wondering if there are other things like that that you've tried to do on projects. So, So yeah, uh, basically like GitHub Actions, if I give you a little uh, back history of why GitHub Actions was, was introduced that GitHub is actually the largest open source code repository uh, for a lot of open source projects. Now, if I'm having, or if I'm uh, maintaining a, a open source project, there, there will be like many folks for the, for the, to my project where like people will fork to my project and they will, raise a PR and there will be issues uh, which will be created for, for my like repository. And there will be like conversations on, on the issues and there'll be like PR comments on, on the, on the, on the uh, pull requests. So it, it gets really tough or it gets really like uh, difficult to manage that, those stuff or those actions manually. Instead, like if you want to automate all those organizational workflows, using actions. So for those reasons, like GitHub Actions was introduced, as I told you in the initial part that CI CD is just a part of, or is one of the workflows that uh, GitHub Actions uh, use. So, and uh, CI CD is specifically for any private repository or any private uh, Drupal project. The one which you're saying that like, uh, you want to like schedule, uh, yeah the schedule updates. So there is an event called schedule, which will like updates or which will run or which will uh, trigger your event on a schedule basis. And based on that, like, for example, in my, I haven't tried it though. It's just a, like, I'm making a guess here that in my CI.yml, instead of on push, I can have multiple uh, events. So for example, if I show here, so on this file, I have like the events which will be triggered is when I push something on the master branch or whenever there is a pull request raised against my master branch. So apart from that, I can have another event which will be a scheduled event which will trigger that particular ci.yml file. Now the ci.yml file, so basically it's, 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 it's the event when, when the uh, job should be triggered. So, we can check this this schedule, for example, on schedule and on cron that this is the like, uh, like I'm not familiar with, with this part. So maybe after 15 minutes that the, uh, the cron should run and after every 15 minutes, your, uh, your, the CI.yml or the composer build should happen. So you can, you can try this way that like uh, on schedule, where, uh, when there's a cron run after every 15 minutes or any other like nightly updates, so yeah. Here is the time, I guess like zero to 23 hours. So maybe like star 23 hours, something like that. So maybe at like 11.50 or 11.59 every day, uh, you can trigger the trigger that particular event or trigger that like particular uh, workflow, which will run all those jobs and build your composer and lint your files and build your front end assets or run your uh, tests, all those stuff. There was, does that answer your question? Yes, thanks. Cool, thank you. And yep, the code is available on GitHub and thank you, John, for pasting it. Any other question?
So, uh, hey, Manabya, uh, I, I was curious about the, you know, the digital oceans droplet you were using. Yep. Uh, could you, you know, tell me, you know, tell us more about it? Is, are you using for your, your website on, and that's why you're, you know, they're going that here or? Oh. So it, it's it's a it's a normal lamp stack which which is there. okay. So nothing fancy there. So like basically like what what that uh, it'll do is like the sorry we go to the deploy part. <clears throat> so this action or or this it's kind so actions are kind of like containers or an environment which 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 will give you to run certain stuff. So for deployment. There is an action called Apple Boy SH actions, and you can specify your uh, host keys and username and password. So once it will SH, so it is just a, like a normal server. So it will go to the okay. doc root. Sorry. Got it. Okay. Uh, I guess it, yep. It will go to the SRV disk and it will do a git pull, and just run the robo command. Right. So the hosting server that yeah, that's, that's just a normal hosting server. So nothing fancy okay. there. Yep. Okay, so no other questions. Thank you. Thank you. So yep, and just to for for the mention. So tomorrow there is a contribution day where there will be planned workshops for first time contributors and the introduction to the merge request using the new GitLab tool and mentor tooling. And the plan initiatives with the new Oliver theme, which is being introduced in the Drupal core, simply test and Drupal recipes. So please come tomorrow and join it. Okay, thank you everyone. Thanks for joining. <laughs>